Hey there everyone, it's Daikaiji Tony here, here at wonderful Cosmic Comics in Las Vegas, Nevada. You should check this place out since we have tons of comics, posters, and toys. Do you guys ship? Yes we do. <laughs> Alright, so for my short, I would like to talk about Injustice. Specifically, the animated movie that just recently came out. Now, a lot of people are mixed in Injustice just because of the simple premise of Superman going evil. I like the premise, I didn't like the direction the games and comic took it for the most part. I did. I do like a lot of other aspects of it though. This movie, I like what they did with the character of Superman, but everything else, not so much. So, if you don't know what Injustice is about, Joker tricks Superman into killing his pregnant wife and blowing up Metropolis. Who's pregnant wife? Joker's or Superman? Superman's pregnant wife. What? Yes, Superman kills Lois. Wow. Yeah. That gets dark. And Superman decides that fascism is the way to prevent crime from happening. He <laughs> rules the world. What? And <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it, it's a slow process. In the, in the games. Okay. Well, how do I explain it? In the game, um, <laughs> the New 52 versions of the Justice League teleport into the Injustice universe, where everything's all gone to hell. Uh, and here, in the Injustice animated movie, you kind of slowly get to it, but at the same time. This movie tries cramming in like more than five years of history into one single two hour feature film. And there's some wow. changes of here that I did not like at all. For example, Flash gets killed off in the beginning and Flash in the original Injustice story did not die at all. He's supposed to help the resistance and eventually the 52 versions of the characters that stop Superman. However, what I like about this is how Superman is portrayed. Instead of Superman going, oh, fascism is the way to go, yeah. And teaming up with villains is totally yeah. the logical thing to do. Yeah. Um, Superman, he makes pretty horrible decisions. And, well, first he makes morally, question, question, uh, morally questionable decisions. Then he starts making the horrible decisions. Then when eventually Batman gets a Superman from another universe to stop him. And, you know, the two Supermans fight. Eventually Superman realizes, like, Oh my god, I've been in the wrong this whole time. <laughs> it's not like when Injustice... You think? Yeah, it's not like in the main Injustice where the other Superman defeats Superman. Superman's like, oh, like I'm evil and I know it. Yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, th the end of the anime series... Well, should I talk about spoilers? Well, I already, I already said Flash died, so I might as well. <laughs> you, already, you already broke that... Uh... Wait, Flash died? Yes, Flash gets his head cut off. Um, what convinces Superman to stop being a tyrannical douche is that Batman brings in a Lois who's pregnant, and Superman realizes, like, even, yeah, even though you're not my Lois, like, what I've been doing is wrong. I'm just gonna stop this whole thing. Aww. Yeah. And for that, I give it a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10? Anyways, uh... So did you like it or not? I can't I, tell. I liked some parts of it, but I... Didn't like how to handle how to, how to try cramming in ten years worth oh, uh, not ten years five okay. years because well another example aside the flash being killed off thing um, Green Arrow how to handle Green Arrow's character in Injustice why in in the comics he it's established that he's married to Black Canary and you know Tom Taylor does a good job writing Green Arrow and it's tragic when Superman kills Green Arrow because what happens is Green Arrow tries shooting. Superman with a kryptonite arrow, I think, but like Superman deflects it, but it hits Pa Kent that pisses off Superman, and Superman kills Green Arrow. In the so what you're telling me is Green Arrow was a better shot with one arm and a kryptonite arrow than he was with two arms. Oh, yeah, yeah, and Darno returns. See, that was better. Uh, also, Pa Kent died in a way that was a lot cooler than running into a tornado. Yes, that was cool. <laughs> That's good, that was good. Yes, but... What happens in the comics, it's a lot more tragic because the last thing you get to see Green Arrow remember is Black Canary. And Black Canary, is, no Black Canary is nowhere in the animated movie. Aww. And to make it worse, in the comics, Black Canary, she was pregnant. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, wow. and here's like the, bi the, Dark. the biggest missed opportunity of this animated movie. Injustice is supposed to be a story where Lex Luthor is proven right. Where Superman takes over the world and abuses his power. After wow. being after uh, losing his connection to humanity, this anime movie does not have Lex Luthor at all. Yeah, that's like the biggest missed potential. Sort of misses the point. Yeah. Right? yeah. 
So yeah, six out of ten. It has good moments, but it misses a lot of the cool stuff from the source material. Gotcha. Harley Quinn in it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, she is. So is Joker die or? Yes, it? Superman does. She punches through him like well, more injustice is from Ed Boon and it's from Creator Mortal Kombat. Superman punches a hole through his chest. Wow. Is there a question in it? No, I think he I have a question. Died in the yeah, comics. The show's lame. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. You got anything else? That's that's cool. Uh. Yeah, six out of ten. Yeah. Injustice, so the it's animated okay, movie. But not great. Not great. Like if you want a full store experience, get the comics or play the video games. There are a lot of fans of the graphic novels. I do know that. Yeah. All right. Tom Taylor's a good writer. So. Anything else? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, see you next time.